Welcome friends, we have just talked about the RNK selected species and we have seen examples of RNK selected species. R selected species example insects, example uh, say bee, honey bee, example say frogs. In case of K selected species example is human. We have taken the example of human. Now in case of, now we will be talking about survivorship curve. Or survivorship graph. Now, this kind of survivorship curve can give us a clear cut understanding of uh, the growth pattern of R and K selected species. And by looking at the survivorship curve of a particular species, we can actually tell whether the species is R selected or K selected. Now, the feature of survivorship curve is that uh, in the x axis, so we have again uh, having two axes for that. So let's put it here like that. In the x axis, we put time. We put time. It should be in years or minutes or whatever. In y axis, we put number of individual. Simple as that. Now, by putting it, if we draw the graph of uh, the number of individuals from the top, so the time, if we if we start the time at zero, zero means from the birth. Okay, so the time we are giving here is uh, the timing of it's a length of the age of a uh, organism of a species. So if you think about this timeline as an age of the organism, then we start with the age zero, which is at the moment of birth. So if you begin with this part at the moment of birth, so from zero. To this age, say the age is moving on. So as we are going at this point, the age is increasing. Say 10 years increase in uh, this way, it's going on like that. So, or say uh, it's just not years. Say 10 days increase in this way. So time in days here, for example, say like that. So what we can find in this case, uh, this denotes or dictates the age of the organism, and here it dictates the number of uh, number of individuals inside the species okay and how many of them survive how long so survivorship curve is giving us the important uh, understanding of the number of individuals that are going to survive inside the population throughout the time for example say what is going to be the average uh, age for that population of the species what are going to be uh, and how they are going to uh, live throughout their life, we can understand by looking at the graph of that. So it is dictating us the time limit of their age and along with that a number of individuals that are passing through that age. Okay. So for example, say we, are, we can get three different type of this kind of. So, so number of individuals are always, if we put it here, the number of individuals, it can be high at the moment. Okay. So one type can be like that. So from here, like that, one is like this, and another is there which follows straight line. So we're having three different survivorship curve. Okay, three different variety of survivorship curve. Okay, so let's discuss this blue one. So this is the first one. In this first curve, what we can see, the number of individuals at the time of birth is pretty high. The number of individuals, again, at the time of birth is pretty high. Now, as we are, as they are getting aged, as they are aged, as they are going towards time, the number of individuals start to fall down, 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 and finally, they will reach this value. Right? This is something. Can you remember that? Yes, you can remember. This is the thing that happens to us, right? So, the number of individuals, if we consider it, the number of individuals, say, during the birth, the number of individuals, we consider it 500 for all the cases. So, 500 child born. So, the number of individuals here, it's fixed 500. 500 child. All the cases, we have fixed it 500 child born. 500 children born. Now, as they are moving on through the time, many of them are proceeding, proceeding, and finally, 
it was trying kind of stable right so um, up to the middle age teenage middle age then finally when they enter the old age when they are getting old then will start to fall and most of them die at this particular age so if we calculate here for example you can get 65 to 70 the average age of a person so after this age most of them start to die off so you can find rapid fall of the number at this particular terminal of 65 to 75 right so what it means at the beginning and the middle age till middle age level the number of individual is slight slightly falling it's more or less the same but at the end start to fall because most of us must die at this particular age right because it is happening but at the beginning we won't die now this is a type this is called type 1 survivorship curve so called type 1 survivorship curve now let us look at this red colored one this is completely different kind so again fix it the number of organism at the beginning is 500 but then but as it is going on the number of individuals are rapidly dying at the beginning of the birth at the time of birth as you can see just after the birth number of individuals are getting died you can see this is completely opposite of ours because after the birth the baby is taken care of throughout the time we take care of the baby so uh, we, we haven't find any kind of rapid death during the birth time right but in this case rapid uh, death is going on and then finally after many years it is getting stable and finally it is getting stable and then it, it reaches the death phase right so what it means in this case most of the organism most of the members died at the early age at the age after birth now this kind of example again if we take insects if we take frog for example if we take frog for example we can find this and this is called type 2 survivorship sorry type 3 survivorship curve now type 3 survivorship curve deals with the r selected species frogs and insects all of them are r selected right so what we can see the rapid death at the beginning because they uh, the parental care they miss the parental care which is a very important feature of the case selected species like this type one now as we, we have seen that none of most of the child are healthy because there are a lot of parental care is going on till the middle age then uh, we go on and old and the aging finally death nobody can resist that we all know that but at the beginning uh, it was restricted for the child to de die right because of the parental care which is helping us but in case of this R selected species there are less parental care because a lot of offsprings are generated remember a lot of eggs so they can't take care of the thousand two thousand eggs so most of the eggs start to die so if a uh, frog uh, say give the 20 uh, 200 eggs uh, from the 200 only 20 may, may manage to survive at this age then finally they will be selected and they will go on and rapidly go and uh, finally produce uh, tadpole through the tadpole metamorphosis finally they produce uh, again adult frog okay so this is the fact that is going on in case of our selected species so our selected species are having type 3 survivorship curve on the other hand k selected species are having type 1 survivorship survivorship curve okay so this is another important feature of that you must write it also so this is a very hot topic question with the, what is the difference between R and K selected species but they can also ask you different questions regarding this different properties of selected species and in CSIR you may able to find this kind of graph and they ask different question from this graph now one uh, point is also remaining this black uh, graph now this is called what is left type 1 type 3 is done so it must be type 2 now this type 2 survivorship curve is uh, telling you what it is telling you it is telling you that the death rate is constantly constant it is constant over time so in the first case what we have seen most of the people survive at the early age most of the people die at the late age but in case of type 3 survivorship curve most of the people die at early age survive at the middle age now in the third kind the death rate is pretty constant so that never means that the most of the people die early or late nothing like that it uh, the death is again throughout the time is continuous and in a constant value for example say at the beginning of the birth 
at that those time if 20% uh, people die as it is going on at the middle age also the 20% will die as it reaches the aged condition or very old condition also 20% people die so this is what is happening now in this kind of graph is called type 2 survivorship curve this survivorship curve can be seen for very few examples are there for some birds example the robin so you can find this type 2 they can ask you questions that from where oh, where you can find that type 2 survivorship curve example is robin the american robin and uh, this particular type of bird is uh, showing us this type 2 uh, survivorship curve okay so these are all about survivorship curve and from this curve we can see remember by looking at the curve analyzing the curve we can find uh, the all of these important properties about this r and k selected species because we have seen the parental care taking action and as a result of parental care the gra graph is changing right so you must understand this uh, survivorship curve and i hope this video is helping you uh, to understand r and k selected species as well as the survivorship curve thank you